nearly $4 million committed for 13 farming projects to grow more food efficiently and sustainably here in Singapore. This was announced at the opening of a new vertical farm, a product of a Singapore-Netherlands partnership. New Wrong Way with this report. The pink lights may remind you of Amsterdam's red light district, but it's actually one of the many agri-tech innovations from the Netherlands, now being used to help grow plants at this urban farm in Singapore. Growgrace can produce about 33 tons of leafy greens each year, using four separate layers to grow them, stacked in a tight space the size of about one and a half basketball courts. That works out to about 70 kilograms of vegetables per square meter, making it about four times more productive than conventional indoor farms. Using a patented technology from Netherlands, let us produce that this facility are less prone to rotting, as only their roots will come into contact with water. Their leaves are also kept dry by carefully controlling the air around them, which helps to prevent fungal growth. Rainwater is also harvested to make the process more sustainable. We produce tomatoes and concombers and all the other stuff. And that is one of the largest exporters in the world. In fact, the second largest exporter in the world um, from a country, from a region that is very small. So we are very effective in, in growing food and in distributing food. We've come together to bundle our forces and know-how to design a unique and sustainable urban farming concept to be used in cities and mega cities, of which will be rolled out in Singapore first. The company says its farm's vertical design can be scaled up and put together easily. It's aiming to grow the size of the facility by nearly 10 times. They plan to grow more types of produce, including leeks and cabbage. Speaking at the farm's opening ceremony, Senior Minister of State for Sustainability and the Environment, Dr. Amy Kaur, says securing Singapore's food supply is especially important, in light of recent geopolitical tensions. With less than 1% of our land available for food production, our farms must make the most of our agri-spaces and produce in a productive, climate-resilient and resource-efficient way. Over $50 million have been committed to help 132 companies adopt high-tech farming systems, including projects like this farm.